here from the blog thedevalhomestead.com and today I'm going to share with you a summer floral tablescape. I put together this tablescape pretty quickly because I just wanted to honestly get some summer touches going on in our house because we've had some really warm weather and I don't know about you, but I love the change of seasons and to just kind of bring in something new whenever you're feeling tired of your space. It makes a huge difference to just put in some fresh flowers or something very small and new to make it feel like the next season. Also on a personal note, I know that I'm gonna be giving birth in August to our baby. And so I wanna make sure I get some summer content out because I may not be able to do much summer content in the month of July. So I will do it now. So for this tablescape, I started with a antique tablecloth. I got this from a vintage store in our town actually a long time ago, several, several months ago, maybe even a year and have not used it. I really just wanted this tablescape to be bright and cheerful and simple and very welcoming. I know for us in the summertime, we love to have barbecues and people over. We have um, sunlight here in the Pacific Northwest until about 10 o'clock at night is the peak for summer. So we eat really late and we love to put, you know, tea lights and candles and flowers and just little touches kind of on the table to create a very, I don't know what the right word is, but um, maybe mystical, maybe just um, floral feminine, um, table for summer. So I did a very simple version of that here. Of course, I could have done quite a bit more and made it very sophisticated, but I just was working quickly. And to be honest, we have, you know, my husband and I here, we have two cats. And so we don't um, do the most extravagant tablescapes because they don't last long. So I could put it up and take it down, but this is one that I can leave up, um, especially the flowers. So I did get some market flowers from our local market. I don't normally buy flowers for our house that are fresh because they're like at least $10 for a small bouquet. But I will say that on occasion, it's just so nice to get fresh flowers. I'm a big fan of getting dried flowers, which if you see in the corner behind me, there's a little floral display back there. And that has dried lavender and a dried some pieces from a dried bouquet. And I keep that lavender back there. That's from last summer, so it's been almost a full year. So, and it still smells good, which is why I love dried lavender and dried flowers. But these here are fresh. Then I put some chargers on the table. Now these are just really basic chargers, I think from Michael's. If I can find them, I will link them below. You notice I have a lot of whites here. My favorite thing is to just do shades of white. So I like to do white, ivory, off-white, and I think it looks great together. I don't know if some people would say that you can't mix and match white colors, but I love it. For our wedding, actually, I did that. We had a lot of different shades of white and I thought it just looked beautiful. And then you just throw in you know, a touch of pink or one other color in there and it just comes together. So these are kind of an ebony off-white table charger. And then we have our white plates. Now these white plates are from Amazon and they are our favorite plates, the Corel plates, and they're very light. And I don't know if you've had plates from Potter at Barn or Williams Sonoma, but they're so much heavier and um, more expensive. And we did have those plates, actually we got them for our wedding, but we recently bought these because we could get a set of eight and we have this huge table now. So usually we have, when we have people over, I like to have all the same plate, but these are light and they're break resistant, which means for children, it, they're just gonna be a lot better. On top of the plates, I set this really nice kind of taupe beige gray linen napkin. I love linen fabrics, especially in the summertime. I have kind of a beachy flair to my style sometimes because I am from California. And so I grew up going to the beach and going to Hawaii. So I do like the look of kind of relaxed beachy. So I have a little bit of that here as well as classic farmhouse, of course. Then I went over to our lavender plant and just pulled a few of the flowers off the stems. This is why it's so nice to keep a pot of dried lavender around for the whole year because whenever you need flowers for something and you don't wanna go buy some or don't have some or maybe it's the middle of winter, you can just 
pull a few of those lavender stems off, smell them, and it just takes you right back to summertime. So I clumped up a little bit of lavender, put on the napkin, and then I put in our utensils. These are new this summer for us. They are bamboo utensils. They are from a company called Emerging Green. They do a lot of recycled, sustainable products, which is pretty cool. And again, I love the summery vibe that the bamboo brings. It's different than your silverware or something like that. It's just more summery and light. And I like them because they actually, the knife hat is serrated and the fork and spoon are pretty hardy. So they're um, nice, a nice set. I'll link them below. Then I just tied it all together with some kitchen twine. This makes a really nice greeting for the guest who sits down to find on their plate some lavender and their utensils and their linen napkin. of the table I lit some glassy babies these are basically hand-blown glass votives so you can of course use any candles on your table we've done beeswax I'm actually taking a break from the beeswax candles because to me those are more for the holiday time for summertime I just like to do little tea lights so that's what we have here one of them is opaque and one of them is transparent and this is a very small table setting I just wanted to keep it intimate for this photo shoot we have a large AFO table, which my husband built himself, and we actually have the plans on a blog post. It's one of my most popular blog posts if you are into building your own things for your house and we're looking for a DIY table plans for farmhouse table. We also have a bench that goes with it. I'll leave a link below for that. On the side here, you can see we have some chairs, kind of mix match the chairs on the side of our table. So they are all antique and vintage and just different shades of brown or white. And then I draped a blanket over one of the chairs and put some pillows on two of the other chairs just to create a really cozy feel for the table. All right, well, that's it. This is our farmhouse table for summertime, kind of a floral theme. I hope you enjoyed it. If, you, if you're brand new to my page, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and like on Facebook. Every week I post new farm to table recipes and homemade natural living from our homestead here in Duval. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead. Mm -hmm.